Good morning, Facebook. This is Lori Flickinger coming to you live from Lori's Wellness Loft. And for those of you joining me for the first time, I am a health and life coach and an advanced energy healing practitioner. And my goal is to come on daily to give you little coaching gems that you can start using right away to live a happy, healthy life. So uh, when you pop on, say hello, because I can't always see who you are when you pop on, and let me know where you're listening in from. I'm curious. And the Facebook feed was flooded today with answers. My question today was, what's your gripe? And I wanted to know from all of you what you wanted me to coach on. And I thought it was kind of comical that people were talking about traffic, um, people not using their turn signals, like road rage was big today. So everybody, calm it down on the highways. All right, so I had so many people answer this question this morning. I tried to kind of wrap everything into one. So I think I'm addressing Patty, Michelle, Lynn, and Janet all in one coaching wrap up. Okay, so I'm trying to smash everything into one. So hopefully this doesn't get lost in translation. But the whole thing was about taking things personally. And for those of you, any of you who have ever read the book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, one of the four agreements is don't take things personally. And this is huge. And I realized that a lot of people go through life with like a chip on their shoulder looking for reasons to be offended. Like, I don't know if you're a recovered person that you've gotten rid of your chip or if you are currently carrying that chip around. And listen, when I say this, I'm not saying this to offend anybody. I'm just trying to bring this to your awareness. Okay, so a lot of times People are looking for reasons to be offended, but it's a choice. We don't have to be. So here are some helpful tips that you can start applying right now to help you with that. So number one is you don't want to take anything personally. You have to realize in life, the way people react to a situation is often about them and about where they're coming from. So nine times out of 10, it has nothing to do with you. And it has to do how with how they're interpreting a situation, what their mindset is, and what they're bringing to the table. Everyone is bringing their their wounds and their story and their issues to the table. And that's the lens they are viewing life through. So often it has nothing to do with us. It has to do with them. Lynn, how are you? Thank you for jumping on. I'm seeing people jump on, but I'm not seeing you. So say hello, wave to me when you jump on. Happy Friday. All right, number two, I want you all to realize this. And I know this is like a big aha moment when people are in the coaching room with me, that they realize that they are creating scenarios in their head based on their belief systems and their past experiences that aren't necessarily true, okay? And this is just human nature. We can only bring to the table what we have currently experienced. But it is up to us to realize whether those beliefs are still serving us or if we're ready to let go of them and allow other beliefs more positive, positive, possible and factual beliefs to come in that are going to help us instead of hold us back. Okay, so realizing that we have insecurities that we have developed that we have, you know, that have been imposed upon us throughout our lifetimes. And it depends on whether we choose to believe that in or anymore. So our insecurities are up to us whether we're ready to let go of them or not. Hello, Kathy. Looking forward to seeing you on the court on Sunday. All right, so what I want to do is offer some solutions for you because I, I do solution-based co coaching. So number one, when you're in your head creating scenarios or when you're feeling offended, you have to realize you're having conversations with yourself. 
nine times out of 10, right? You're not, com you're con not conversing with the person who kind of tweaked you or you have the gripe with. You're having these conversations in your head. So what I tell people to do is number one, ask the question of the person you have the gripe or problem with. Find out. Sometimes you go to that person, you ask them the question, and they had no idea that you had felt offended by them or you know that there was any issue. So find out if you're just creating stories in your head or if that person actually has a problem with you. Okay, number one, you have to ask the question. Number two, stop making assumptions about what that person is thinking. You can only... Uh, think for yourself, you can make assumptions about what that person is thinking and about why they acted the way that they acted. Thank you, Lisa. But in order for you to have an actual conversation, that person has to be able to interject in, and, and put some feedback into it. So if you're having a conversation in your head, guess what, guys? It's not going to get you anywhere because you're not allowing the other person to come in and tell you what is true. All right, so invite that person into the conversation. Number three, you are always able to decide to focus on what is positive, possible, and factual. Okay, I'm going to say that again. What is positive, possible, and factual. And if you have come into a situation or a scenario where you feel like it's Groundhog's Day and it's going on and on and you can't get out of this negative thought loop, it's up to you to decide to move out of it. And if you need help with moving out of it, drop me a little hand in the comments below. I would love to be able to have a conversation with you. I know people are really, really like oh, active and awake this morning on Facebook. People are fearless on Facebook today. So I think that's really cool. So if this was helpful, drop me a one in the comments below. If I lost you, drop me a two in the comments below. And I would invite each and every one of you, if you have a topic that you would like me to coach on, I am doing requests. Drop that in the comments below, something that you need help with, and I would love to create a video just for you. If you wanna message me afterwards, message me or call me at 609-561-LURI. Have a happy, healthy weekend, and I'll talk to you all soon.